Hello dear children welcome back I am Dr Jisha Jo in this video we shall study about blood transfusion and the two most important types of blood groups what is blood transfusion when do we need blood transfusion blood transfusions are done in patients undergoing surgery what is blood transfusion it is the transfer of blood from a healthy person to the patient's body the healthy person who donates the blood is called as the donor and the person who receives the blood is called as the recipient so blood transfusions are normally done during surgeries it is the transfer of blood from a donor to a recipient and during such a blood transfusions it is necessary to know whether the blood groups of the donor and the recipient are matching or whether they are compatible only if the two blood groups are matching or only if they are compatible blood transfusions can be done and here comes the need to understand the different types of blood groups so i hope that is clear so blood transfusion is needed in patients undergoing surgery and during blood transfusion what is actually done the blood is transferred from a healthy person whom we call as the donor to the patient's body whom we call as the recipient so during blood transfusion it is highly necessary that we uh, understand the blood groups of the donor and the recipient and also it is necessary to test the compatibility of the two blood groups the concept of blood grouping was discovered by karl landsteiner the concept of blood grouping was discovered by karl landsteiner and there are several systems of blood group blood grouping but the most important uh, blood group systems are the abo system and the rh system the abo system and the rh system are the two most important types of blood group systems the concept of blood grouping was uh, Uh, given by or discovered by Karl Landsteiner and uh, there are different several different types of blood grouping systems but the most important ones are the ABO system of blood grouping and the RH system first let us have a look at the ABO system of blood grouping now according to the abo system of blood grouping there are four blood groups the four blood groups are blood group a blood group b ab and o these are the four blood groups according to the abo system of blood grouping now the important thing that we should know is in uh, there are two antigens here two antigens the two antigens include the antigens are antigen a and antigen b these are the two antigens here what are actually antigens in blood they are proteins present on the surface of the rbc antigens are proteins that are present on the surfaces of the red blood cells so there are two antigens here antigen a and antigen b now the important thing that uh, we have to remember is there are two antibodies which are the two antibodies anti anti a and anti b these are the two antibodies present and what are these antibodies antibodies are proteins that are present in the plasma of the blood okay so according to the abo system there are four blood groups blood group a b ab and o there are two antigens which are the two antigens antigen a and antigen b what are antigens antigens are proteins present on the surfaces of red blood cells and there are two antibodies which are the anti a 
and anti B. What are antibodies? Antibodies are proteins present in the plasma of the blood. So I hope that much is clear to you. Now to get a deeper understanding of uh, the antigens and the antibodies, uh, I shall draw a table uh, to make you understand the ABO system. So that these are the four blood groups we have seen. Okay, the four blood groups. The next column I will write the antigen. And in the third column I will write the antibody. Okay, so blood group A, that is a person having blood group A will have antigen A will have antigen A and the antibody present will be anti B. Okay, a person having blood group A will have antigen A and the antibody present will be <coughs> anti B. A person with B blood group will have antigen B. Antibody present will be anti Okay, B group person will have antigen B whereas the antibody present will be anti A. An AB group person will have both antigen A and antigen B. Antigen A and antigen B will be present in an AB group person whereas the, there will be no antibody in an AB group person. When we come to an O group person, there will be no antigen in a person having O group, whereas the antibodies present will be anti A and anti B. So these are the things that which you should know regarding the ABO system. So according to the ABO system, there are four blood groups. Blood group A, B, AB and O. We have also seen that there are two antigens, antigen A and antigen B and two antibodies, anti A and anti B. A person having A group, A blood a group blood uh, will have antigen A and the antibody will be anti B. A person having a B group uh, has his antigen B and the antibody present will be anti A. A B group person will have both the antigens antigen A and antigen B whereas he will have no antibody. And an O group person will have no antigen but he will have the antibodies anti A and anti B. Okay, now from this we can understand that AB group persons are universal recipients. What is meant by universal recipient? That means they can receive blood from any of the four blood groups. Okay, AB persons, AB group persons can receive blood from A, B, AB as well as O. What is the reason? What is the reason for that? AB group person has no antibody. A person having AB group, blood group has no antibody. No antibodies are present in his blood. So as a result, he can receive any uh, receive blood from any of the four blood groups. That is why AB group persons are called as universal recipients. So what is the reason? Because he has a no antibody. AB group persons do not have antibody in his uh, blood. So, he can receive blood from all the four blood groups. Whereas, O is called, blood group O is a universal donor. Okay, he can give blood to A group person, B group person, AB group person as well as O group person. So, 
O group persons are called universal donors. Universal donors, that is because they can donate blood to all the four blood groups. What is the reason for that? O group persons do not have antigen. Now moving on to the second blood grouping system, that is the RH system. This is based on the presence or absence of RH factor. RH factor was first discovered in rhesus monkey which is the common monkey. Rhesus monkey and that is why the factor get its name as the rhesus factor or the RH factor. So if RH factor is present in the blood of a person he becomes RH positive. If RH factor is absent he is RH negative. Suppose if a person has a blood group A and he contains the RH factor, he is said to be A positive. If suppose a person has B group and he do not contain the RH factor, he can be represented as B negative. So I hope that is clear. The RH system is based on the presence or absence of RH factor. RH factor was first discovered in a rhesus monkey. Rhesus monkey is the common monkey. And uh, that is why the factor gets its name as the rhesus factor or the RH factor. So if the RH factor is present in the blood of a person, he is said to be RH positive. Suppose a person is having a group uh, blood and he has uh, the RH factor, he is represented as uh, A positive. So if RH factor is absent in the blood, he is RH negative. Suppose in the case of a B group person, he do not have the RH factor in his blood, he will be represented as B negative. Okay, now here also uh, the problem comes when, for example, during blood transfusion, if a person, that is, if the donor is Rh, neg sorry, if the recipient is Rh negative, okay, recipient is Rh negative and uh, the donor is Rh positive. Okay, if this the problem arises when blood transfusion takes place from an Rh positive donor to an Rh negative recipient. What happens is that when the uh, recipient receives the blood uh, from the Rh positive person, this will develop or induce the development of antibodies in the Rh negative person. Okay, so once again I'll repeat, if suppose uh, the donor, so donor is Rh positive, like for example, donor is B positive. Okay, and uh, recipient is B negative. Just think, recipient is B negative, donor is B positive. B positive means he has the Rh factor, B negative he does not have the Rh factor. So, uh, the B negative person is receiving the blood from the B positive person. That means the Rh factor is there in this blood. So, as a B negative person receives the B positive blood, the Rh factor in the blood induces the development of antibodies inside the B negative person. In the blood of the B negative person, uh, the Rh factor will induce the development of antibodies. And as a result, what will happen? There will be clumping or interaction taking place between the Rh uh, uh, factor, Rh antigen and the antibodies produced inside the recipient's blood. This can lead to the death of the individual. So during blood transfusions, uh, it is necessary to check the compatibility. Uh, we can donate blood from an Rh positive person to an Rh positive person, not to an Rh negative person. Rh factor is not a problem during blood transfusions because at before the transfusion of blood, we are actually testing the compatibility of the blood groups of the donor and the recipient. Uh, this 
RH factor becomes a problem in the case of pregnancy. Suppose if the mother has a B, mother is B negative, and the father is B positive. Okay, suppose if the mother is B negative and father B positive, there are chances for the child to be B positive. There are chance, uh, there are chances for the child to be B positive. So, when a B positive child uh, is, is being developed in a B negative mother, what will happen? Naturally, the B negative uh, uh, mother will produce antibodies against this Rh factor. Isn't it? So, here I hope you have understood when uh, Rh factor is not a problem, it does not become a problem during blood transfusions. This is because we are testing the compatibility uh, before we uh, transfuse the blood from a donor to the recipient. Before conducting blood transfusions, we are testing the compatibility of the blood groups of the donor and the recipient. So, it, it, is not a, an, uh, it does not become a problem during blood transfusions. But it becomes a problem during pregnancy when the mother is uh, Rh negative. For example, the mother has the blood group B negative and suppose the father is B positive. There is a chance for the child to be B positive. So, what will happen naturally inside the mother's body, antibodies will be produced against this Rh factor. So, there will be antibody, antigen-antibody interaction taking place uh, between uh, the baby's blood and the mother's blood. Okay, this can cause the death of the baby. This might not be a problem in the first pregnancy, but if suppose if the mother gets pregnant very soon, second conception, if, uh, if she conceives a second child very soon, then what happens already these antibodies will be present in the mother's bo body, mother's blood. Okay, so if she conceives a second child, uh, there are chances for the chi second child to die. Because there will be already in the mother's body, the antibodies are already present. So, antibodies against the Rh factor are already present. So, if suppose she conceives a second child, there will be antigen-antibody interaction taking place resulting in the death of the child. This is called as erythroblastosis fetalis. So, I hope that is clear to you. So, uh, RH system, RH factor does, is not a problem during blood transfusions but becomes a problem during pregnancy. So when the mother is RH negative uh, and a father RH positive, there are chances for the child to be RH positive. So, in such cases, uh, antibodies will develop inside the mother's body and uh, interaction, antigen antibody interaction action can take place between the mother's blood and the baby's blood resulting in the death of the baby. So, this is called as erythroblastosis fetalis. So, uh, in this session, we have uh, studied about the two blood grouping systems. I hope uh, the ABO system and, uh, and the RH system are clear to you. If you have any doubts, please ask your doubts and give your suggestions in the comment section. Thank you.